Majority order. And I repeat, it is by myself, Justice Muni Bakhtar, Muhammad Ali Mazhar, Aisha Malik, Atar Minnallah, Sayyid Hassan Ali Rizvi, Shahid Wahid, and Irfan Sadat Khan. For detailed reasons to be recorded later and subject to what is set out therein by way of amplification or explanation or otherwise, these appeals are decided in the following terms. Number one. The impugned judgment dated 25th of March 24 of the learned full bench of the High Court is set aside to the extent it is or may be inconsistent with this order or the detailed reasons. Number two, the order of the Election Commission of Pakistan dated 1st of March 2024 is declared to be ultra vires the Constitution without lawful authority and of no legal effect. Three, the notifications of various dates whereby the persons respect, respectively mentioned therein, being the persons identified in the Commission's notification dated 13th of May 2024, have been declared to be returned candidates for reserved seats for women and minorities in the national and provincial assemblies are declared to be ultra vires the Constitution without lawful authority and of no legal effect and are quashed from 6th of May 2024 onwards, being the date an interim order was made by the court in CPLA number 13289 of 24, the leave petitions out of which the instant appeals arise. Four. It is declared that the lack or denial of an election symbol does not in any manner affect the constitutional and legal rights of a political party to participate in an election, whether general or by, and to field candidates and the commission is under a constitutional duty to act and construe and apply all statutory provisions accordingly. Number five. It is declared that for the purposes and within the meaning of paragraphs D and E of clause 6 of Article 51 and paragraph C of clause 3 of Article 106 of the Constitution, Pakistan Tariq e Insaf, PTI, was and is a political party which secured or won the two terms being interchangeable, general seats in the national and provincial assemblies in the general elections of 2024 as hereinafter provided. Six, during the course of the hearing, <coughs> of the instant appeals on 27th of June 2024, Leonard Counsel for the Commission placed before the court a list of 80 returned candidates for the National Assembly, now MNAs, setting out in tabular form particulars relating to their election. Leonard Counsel made a categorical statement that the Commission stood by the data so provided to the court. In particular, the list contained three columns marked as follows. Number one, statement on nomination form given declaration and oath by the person nominated, that is, I belong to. Number two, certificate of party affiliation under section 66 of the Election Act 2017. And number three, statutory declaration affidavit accompanying section 66 certificate. Number seven. In the peculiar facts and circumstances of the general election of 2024, it is declared that out of the aforesaid 80 returned candidates, now MNAs, those being 39 in all and whose particulars are set out in an extra A of to this order, in respect to whom the Commission has shown PTI in any one of the aforementioned columns in the list were and are the returned candidates whose seats were and have been secured by the PTI within the meaning and for purposes of para 5 above in relation to article 51 provisions. Para 8. In the peculiar facts and circumstances of the general election of 2024, it is further ordered that any of the remaining 41 returned candidates out of the aforesaid 80 which I mentioned in the next B, may within 15 working days of this order file a statement duly signed and notarized stating that he or she contested the general election as a candidate of, a polit of the political party specified therein. If any such statement is or filed, the Commission shall forthwith, but in any case within seven days thereafter, give notice to the political party concerned to file within 15 day working days a confirmation that the candidate contested the general election as its candidate. 
A political party may in any case, at any time after the filing of a statement as a foresaid of its own motion, file its confirmation. If such a statement is filed and is confirmed by the political party concerned, then the seat secured by such candidates shall be forthwith deemed to be the seat secured by that political party for the purposes of para 5 above in relation to Article 51 provisions. The Commission shall also forthwith issue and post on its website a list of returned candidates, now MNAs, and seats to which this para applies within seven days after the last date on which the political party may file its confirmation and shall simultaneously file a compliance report in the court. Paragraph 9. For the purposes of paragraph 5 of this order in relation to Article 51 provisions, the number of general seats secured by PTI shall be the total of the seats declared in terms of paragraph 7 and those, if any, to which paragraph 8 applies. The PTI shall be entitled to reserve seats for women and minorities in the National Assembly accordingly. PTI shall, within 15 working days of this order, file its lists of candidates for the said reserved seats and the provisions of Election Act 2017 and the Election Rules 2017 shall be applied to such lists in such manner as gives effect to this order in full measure. The Commission shall, out of the reserved seats for women and minorities in the National Assembly to which Para 3 of this order applies, notifies, notify as elected in terms of the Article 51 provisions that a number of candidates from the list filed uh, or as the case may be to be filed by the PTI as it is proportionate to the general seat secured by it in terms of Paragraph 7 and 8 of this order. Paragraph 10. The foregoing paras shall apply mutis mutandis for purposes of Article 106 in relation to PTI for the reserved seats for women and minority in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Punjab and Sindh Provincial Assemblies to which paragraph 3 of this order applies. In case the Commission of PTI need any clarification or order as to give effect to this para in full measure, it shall forthwith apply to the court by making an appropriate application which shall be put before the judges constituting the majority in chambers for such orders and directions as may be deemed appropriate. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Very grateful.